everybody and welcome to the behind the scenes video of ads versus ads build off series. In this episode I'd like to show you how we actually created the build off arena and all the redstone. Our first task was to find a location. Now we decided to ha find a pretty impressive location with lots of scenery and things going on. Uh, we come across this uh, area and we thought this was really cool. It even goes back round here some nice dark spots but alas this area was just a bit too small uh, for what we wanted to do so after a bit more looking around I mean it's an amazing area don't you think there's holes and there's lava everywhere uh, and after a while we come across this area now this was almost ideal uh, we've got a mountain either side a lot of space except it wasn't flat enough um, so we decided to use this place and um, our first objective was to clear and flatten the area out and replace all the uh, blocks with grass blocks. Now we started off in survival, uh, sorry, in creative mode uh, but this took us ages. Uh, it just wasn't quick enough. Um, so instead we switched to survival mode and uh, built ourselves a beacon uh, all out of gold and switched on haste 2 and built ourselves some efficiency 5 diamond pickaxes and it is like carving through butter let me tell you it's a lot easier it took still took us a while and I still have uh, dreams of uh, placing all those all those glass sorry all those grass blocks but uh, eventually we did it and the next step we did was to mark out the wall now the wall was to, is as you might have seen is to separate the two build off areas uh, that was uh, to stretch from one set of mountains to the other set of mountains and once we've done that we uh, managed to build uh, dig underneath and build a trench for uh, all the redstone so the walls can come down we needed a way of uh, introducing the arena to everybody um, and we thought that what we'll do is to have me on a minecart um, arrive from a village nearby village and uh, across a bridge and this is where we decided to put the bridge uh, we kind of um, oh, made our way through here uh, across the bridge uh, through the tree which we removed and out the other side through here um, so we had a little jump at the, at the end of here so we kind of jumped down there uh, went across round here down here Play some torches, get some light in there so you can see what's going on. Um, so yeah, we just followed this cavern all the way through. And at this point, it kind of comes to a dead end, as you can see. Uh, but uh, we decided to see if we can join up the uh, a nearby cavern. So um, that's what we ended up doing. This is uh, not natural. This is what I've just done, just to show you the way. And this is now natural. Uh, and so the minecart comes down here. We did some um, nice fancy stuff with the with the minecarts on the side of the uh, rail track there. And there's a nice big uh, a hole of a broken uh, bridge. The minecart now travels down here, and we've uh, littered the place here with lava and gems, diamonds and uh, emeralds, a bit of redstone. Minecart comes round here, up this slope here and back out again to this train stop which is just here into the arena so the next thing we built was the timer now the timer uh, was supposed to last for uh, 60 minutes and it was supposed to announce the end of the game so the end of the competition between myself and ads uh, so the timer needed to be um, well need to be able to switch it on and off um, but at this point, I think this is a great opportunity to now switch to the finished article and show you all the redstone. So the timer is simply a uh, hopper system with two pistons pushing backwards and forwards uh, a redstone block and in the it's still running, we've just uh, finished the game um, so the, the contents of the hopper uh, is going going backwards and forwards and every time they empty uh, this piston 
uh, this uh, redstone block moves position. Uh, we managed to figure out how many blocks we needed to um, to calculate for one minute and uh, every time it moves position th this hopper loses power. Every time it loses power one of these golden ingots gets transferred. Um, so when the, this, this hopper here is uh, has something in it this is powered and down here is a pig. No, down here is the wall uh, but in these two directions uh, is the uh, fireworks but I'll come to those in a minute hello excuse me um, this is where the wall is and as you can see there is a whole stack of pistons and if I just place the torch down you can see that all the pistons are on when there's power being fed so when there's uh, those um, gold block, uh, gold ingots in the in that hopper this is powered and all the sand is sitting on the pistons but if I if I remove that no yes uh, then all the piston uh, all the sand falls down into these hoppers hitting the torches now the torches actually destroy the block uh, and puts it into collectible items um, now what we wanted to do was we didn't want the uh, we didn't want the blocks being dis, uh, just hitting the ground and causing a whole of lag. It's a big quite a few uh, hundred um, uh, sand blocks uh, to uh, you know to to be uh, to, to collect it. So we put the hoppers in that, that collected all the hoppers. I can just show you that. There you go. A whole load of um, sand in there. And then back down here is the same pig. And I'm going to the uh, fireworks now. Ooh, so at the end, this is the end of the tunnel, uh, the end of the uh, the wall. Uh, again, we've got these both directions. We have four um, fireworks systems kicking off. So in this direction, they're all the same. Uh, we have a tower of redstone torches. And of course, one switches off the other one and turns off the next one and la di da da and right at the very top is the another hopper system uh, where there's only one block in being switched backwards and forwards and then there's a comparator there and the comparator just powers a uh, dispenser. Now we had a whole load of fireworks in there so that's how that works and uh, they just uh, fire out the fireworks and uh, Bob Junkle your aunt! Now over to the randomizer. This is cool, this is fun to make. It's just like um, a burst of ideas. <clears throat> Our arrows are still in, in the wall there. Little arrows, what are they? Weird. Um, so the idea here was that uh, you hit the button with the arrow and the f water flooded in. Um, now you see this piston here it's actually being held uh, open by a redstone torch, but of course if I take this block out then the water destroys the torch, the uh, glasses move back and the zombie is uh, escapes. And the zombie is attracted by the villager uh, and he steps on this, um, this pressure pad, which behind the pressure pad, behind the stone block rather, is um, a piston. So when you stand on the piston, well when the zombie stands on the piston the piston is pushed out the way and then falls back down because the piston, uh, the uh, uh, the pressure plate is destroyed uh, the zombie falls down there and still attracted by the villager stands on that next pressure plate which pushes the uh, this cart along this cart comes all the way down here activates the pig uh, which comes all the way down here and then this little thing is uh, just a mechanism of pushing pistons around and the very last one actually activates the mushroom and uh, in turn activates our randomizer and uh, I'm not going to show you the randomizer secret secret source there I hope you enjoyed this uh, behind the scenes episode and uh, we'll speak to you next time 
Ciao for now. Bye! It's all broken. I think I've just gone through this, but this is all broken out down. Um, old decrepit uh, cave. Uh, we've kind of resurfaced it, and we've got this ambient lighting and some uh, creepers coming down. A bit of foliage. This is not a tree. It's not a uh, gravel tree. This is just a bit of foliage just to give it a little bit more character. Um, and when the vi hello, when the vines come down, it give it you know they just uh, start dangling in the middle of the uh, in the middle of the thing, It'll give it a bit more vibe. Um, there's some r water droplets coming down as if it's um, a sunken uh, cave, like uh, the, the roof is leaking essentially. Um, ambient lighting in the corners here, done with a, to um, a redstone torch up in the corners. And of course, if we really do want some lighting, we can just open this up and it's a bit more lighter now.